I'm Earl Pepper. Uh, we are at the Queen, Arkansas, where I live now, on Hendricks Ranch. I grew up at Athens, Alabama, on a cotton farm, and I really wanted to be away from that cotton farm, and uh, eventually moved to Arkansas, farmed for a while there. Then I worked for the Arkansas Department of Correction for almost 25 years in their cattle and horse operation. Uh, while I was there, we developed a really nice set of brood mares, and we tried to raise big, stout, gentle horses that were good for the correctional officers carrying squads out to work. After I retired from there in 2011, I uh, moved here to DeQueen and have been here on this ranch ever since. I cannot remember not having horses, and I always wanted to ride and as I got older, I decided it was a lot better to ride them than it was to follow them when you're behind a plow. I have a degree from Auburn in agriculture with a major in animal science. And when I started teaching school and I uh, had to get a teacher certificate, it was easier for me to get a major in science and a minor in English because I had taken a lot of literature courses because I like to read. I never really quit doing what I'm doing now while I was teaching school. We still had cattle and I went to a lot of rodeos and so it just, it, it fit. Then I worked for the Arkansas Department of Correction for almost 25 years in their cattle and horse operation. We needed about 300, between 250 and 300 head of riding horses and buying that many riding horses that would weigh 1,200 pounds and be big and stout and good boned and gentle, uh, it was almost impossible. You, got, you could drive the wheels off a pickup looking for the kind of horses we needed and they were extremely hard to find. And when we started raising them and we were raising horses out of mares that we had raised, eventually all of our brood mares, we had 50 brood mares, and all of them were mares that we had ridden and used. And the colts out of those mares were nice. And at one time I had a half a dozen inmates assigned to ride colts. And that's all they did was ride colts every day. And it was a pretty good thing. We also had a farrier school once a year for the inmates. And we would uh, have about 15 uh, inmates that we trained to shoe horses every year. Uh, had some help, some outside farriers that came in and really helped with that school. And it, it helped us a lot and probably saved uh, the state of Arkansas a lot of money in addition uh, to training an inmate with a skill that he could use when he got out. There is a, you, you develop a bond with these horses and I still consider them tools to do what I need to do. But this particular horse will meet me at the gate every morning. He'll be standing at the gate. Horses were the means to develop this country. Settlers going west relied on horses, mules, and oxen. Cattle in Texas that were on the trail drives, they were driven horseback. And the horse and buggy was the equivalent of today's automobile. I do this because I am one of the fortunate people that has been able to make a living doing what they wanted to do, not working at a job that they didn't like. We still, we still need cowboys, and we still have to have people, if we're gonna be in the cattle business, we still have to have people that handle the cattle. And so I suppose I would be a modern day cowboy.